Uh, I wanted to do a funny video today about my sales pitch for Foundry because I was chatting with Chris Pratt on a live stream the other day and I just had to laugh at this. So, But also, I think it's actually the right pitch on some level. I, I'm just not sure how they would craft it. But let's meet Alice and Bob, right? Alice and Bob both run, run widget factories and they both make super high quality widgets for a global customer base and they've got over 80 worldwide suppliers, right? So they have a pretty complicated supply chain. You got lots of people they need to ship their widgets to. And we've just had a pandemic and the supply chain's disruption is killing their business and they need to figure out a way to rebalance their supply chain and deal with future disruptions, right? So Bob decides to build a do-it-yourself solution building a data insight platform, right? And so Bob has to hire a team of data engineers and data scientists and software developers to integrate Snowflake, AWS SageMaker, and a bunch of other tools so that he can do data governance, ML operations, and build applications that are going to run that Foundry would have provided him out of the box, right? And then Bob spends two years building his data platform and preparing his data for data science. And then he has to wait for his scientists to build models and run simulations every time he has a question. And then Bob also discovers his product owner went three times over his projected cost projections and delivered one third of the features originally promised, right? So Bob is struggling to keep pace with supply chain disruptions that he's two, about two years delayed on even being able to ask, questions he's two years delayed on even being able to ask. And the feedback loop is bottlenecking in engineering. And because Google employs nearly all of the ML and AI research scientists, Bob can't hire his way out of this problem, right? So Alice, on the other hand, uh, uh, decides to adopt Foundry. Alice decides to adopt Foundry for builders and run it on AWS. Alice pays Palantir to integrate Foundry. Alice and Palantir's forward deployed engineers spend the next six months preparing Alice's data for Foundry decision making. And then Alice also has her existing data analysts who've been using Tableau or other types of legacy analytics tools to attend Foundry certification so they can integrate Foundry into their workflows. Alice then uses Foundry's ontology system to deeply understand her supply chain. And I want you guys to understand the ontology system in Foundry is groundbreaking. It's pretty amazing. And then with this knowledge that she gets through the ontology system, she can run what if scenarios to create plans to deal with future disruptions, all enabled by Foundry out of box, right? Palantir empowers Alice and her team with pluggable AI and ML that improve their understanding without the need to hire expensive, hard to find scientists. Alice uses this insight to put Bob out of business, right? So the only question that matters is how do you plan to compete with Palantir's customers? To me, that's a sales pitch that would resonate, <laughs> in my opinion, in a lot of industries. And I actually believe it's correct because this is my experience in dealing with building these platforms myself at several different companies now and uh, the failures associated with them. And you, and you can tell by the level of complexity and the hard to find people that power these platforms like ML and AI research scientists who basically all work for Google. That's what's driving the 87% failure rate of AI and ML initiatives. Palantir is going to fix that problem. And I really hope that their customers prove this thesis, which they will just outcompete you uh, in the short run. Uh, and I do mean short run, like hopefully we start to see this come to fruition uh, quickly and they can tout this. Um, but to me, this is a, would be a really powerful sales pitch for a CEO at a company who's struggling with some of the issues we have today in supply chain management and other high stakes decision making that are critical for business success. So anyway, hope you guys like the video.